you. This meeting is being recorded. We got five minutes on the clock. What is your name and what is your podcast show? Sarah St. John and my podcast is Frugalpreneur. Frugalpreneur. Now you you gave a talk at Podcast Movement on how to become a top 100 podcaster. Why don't you share some insights because I work with a lot of podcasters who would love to hit the top of the charts. What are your thoughts? Yeah, so basically I... I noticed an increase in downloads just kind of rapidly. And I was like, what's going on? And I talked to a couple of podcast friends and they actually took it upon themselves to look me up and notice that I was in the top. Well, actually at that time I was in the top 200. And then a few days later I was in the top 100 and we were trying to figure out, well, what's going on. So I started to kind of look into it and well, first let me bust some myths. So first of all, ratings and reviews um, don't increase your ranking. Um, it can be an influencing factor for someone to click on your show, but it doesn't move your rank up. And then automatic downloads are not factored into rankings either. Um, so, but the three factors on Apple's end that counts are listens, follows, and the completion rate. So when someone subscribes to your, so basically the more subscribers, uh, the further along in their episode, your episode that they listen. So then I started doing shorter episodes um, because the shorter the episode, the higher the completion rate is. Um, so basically I came up with my own Sarah St. John's secret sauce. Cause I like alliteration and that is release more episodes because the more episodes you have, you should be getting more downloads, assuming that, these are people subscribe to your show and listen to all your episodes. Um, but another key factor is releasing shorter episodes because I was releasing one episode a week that was about an hour. Uh, and then I thought, well, I'm going to try releasing three episodes a week that are like under 20 minutes. And um, it drastically increased my completion rate which helps with rankings. And so you want to aim for a 70% plus completion rate. And you can check that in Apple Podcasts Connect. Um, and then the other thing that I want to talk about was submitting your podcast for promotion on Apple Podcast. It's free, but there's no guaranteed placement. But basically, there's a form you can fill out to submit your podcast and um, the thing is, they don't tell you if you've been featured. So even to this day, I don't know if I was featured. I'm just going to assume because I, I did submit that, but it was like weeks or months before I noticed this rapid increase in downloads. So I'm thinking that's probably what happened. But then I think having the shorter episodes also helped. And ever since then, I haven't dropped out of the top. 200 and i've been in the the essentials listing as well which there's only eight entrepreneur podcasts listed there and i've maintained like number six there um but some things to keep in mind when submitting that form is it's your podcast has ideally been active for at least 90 days um you can submit a new request every six to eight weeks uh you can be featured more than once uh, but again you will not be notified when you're featured which is kind of ridiculous it's and the annoying thing about it. it's bonkers yeah we should let you know hey congratulations you've been right. featured you could share that with your mom and your dad i'm sure they're proud right like that'd be cool to know exactly yeah exactly wow so busting myths that just what you shared i because i think podcasters we spend so much time in like thoughts in you know like getting reviews and rankings and you know even the auto downloads like just trying to get tons of subscribers and what you shared that completion rate is so like freaking important so thank you for dropping those golden nuggets i know you have a slide deck for for people to kind of check out and it looks like actually the time froze so uh we're, we'll just keep rolling with it. <laughs> it like froze on us we're just gonna keep rolling but like you have a slide deck that you want to share with people where could people go to connect with you and uh, get that slide deck for free. 
Yeah. So uh, basically everything I said is in a slide deck. You can go to podcastmarketing.agency forward slash slides. Cool. And yeah, my show's for Goalpreneur. Awesome. 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 Hey guys, we did that all in five minutes. It was weird. The clock like froze on us. It was like you were meant to be able to share the slide deck with us, but uh, guests as always, or, you know, people listening in as always reach out to our guests, say thank you, find out a way to connect with them, support their show and, you know, learn from them. So go to her site and download that slide deck. And Hey, if you learned extra stuff, head on over to podcast hostarmy.com, fill out a quick form, and maybe you could share your wisdom and knowledge with other podcasters on our shows. Till then, we'll talk to you all on the next episode. See everyone.